then this is gonna have to go, this might need to get shaved down on the inside here. Take this little lip off the inside. You probably can't see with the stance, huh? No, well, the so we'll probably trim it here and then there. hear my my system in here no not yet we'll, we'll talk about that later oh. guys we still got a few little things to do we got to clean the interior oh, it's, super dirty it's in disgusting here. but we got a lot done destroy that dang it um no just pull it back in the garage i gotta hack it up dang it i totally forgot about that guys other way other way other way uh stop so basically i would need to go from probably here yeah, probably up here and then down and then tape everything off because I really should have done that before I painted it. Oh my golly. Oh, it's bending already, isn't it? Yeah. Go ahead and start it and turn it over. I'm going to go ahead and just cut this up. Oh, this is not... I really should have done this, guys. I'm... Oh, man. I really should have known. All right, that's good. This is a brand new bumper. I should have put this on first when we painted it, before we painted it, and then just cut it and then painted it. So now I'm gonna destroy the paint. You're gonna it, destroy the paint? Yeah, I'm gonna have to tape everything. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my best. I really am. I've done this before, remember? Mm -hmm. All right, um, <laughs> brand new paint job and I'm already destroying it. I was gonna say about here, I took off. I, I feel like it was cut. You know what? Look at the old bumper. Where's yeah, the old bumper? Yeah, look at the old bumper. But the old bumper, stood, I took all the plastic off of it. So we're just seeing what the metal is. Um, bumper for sale. Yeah, I didn't take much off of the end. See? I just nicked it. Look, you gotta come over here though. I'm coming. That was my line. Yeah, it's not too much. I'm debating whether or not I should use the Sawzall or the angle grinder. I'm not too sure yet. But I'm not very good with a Sawzall. We need a, the body work people to come back. <laughs> right? I got this. <laughs> We're going to have some uh, things that need to be fixed. I pray not. Yeah, that's about all I took off of it. That's about right. That's about right. Let's see what happens. Worst case, we'll just keep hacking until we get it right. Uh -huh. It's so bad. What? I'm just kidding. Try this at home. That should be good. Now I just gotta get it off. Keep going. 
Is that is that all the way? Yeah. All right. All right. That's good. Stop. Turn it off. Yeah, that clears no problem. Well, what about when I hit bumps and stuff? I'm worried more about pulling that tape because it's going to look like crap when you pull that tape. Why do you think that? You want to do it right now? Oh. That actually looks pretty clean. I thought I was going to destroy the paint. Well, so far so good. We still got the other side. And this right here isn't lining up. I'm gonna do my best once I rebuild this truck to get this to line up properly, but I feel like I did cut a little bit more than I should have. But if I'm moving that bumper towards this line right here, it should still should clear. Are you trying to cut a little bit more than you should have so you can put the chromes back on? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I gotta smoothen this out though because the inside looks like crap. Maybe we should have left the tape on. <sighs> Maybe we should have. And Letting sparks fly everywhere. Yeah, you're right. That's good. Yeah, we got plenty of room now. It's, uh, should it, I turn it the other, like no, this way no. or no? Just leave it straight, a little bit easier for me. Oh my gosh, plenty of room for the chromies. Plenty of room, what are you, what, what chromes? Oh, you wanna put the 22s back on? No, I know you're gonna want to. Oh though. man, we gotta put the 22s back on, guys. You're gonna, don't be messing up the 22s the from the stuff. Cummins need to go back on the Wife Max. Let me know in the comments, guys. Chrome wheels, chrome, chrome 22s. Or leave the nice, meaty looking tires with the black rims on it. You guys let me know. I'd love to read them. You want the black rims? Well, it's your truck, so it's your decision. But I think we should put the chromes back on just to look at it. That is such a perfect, professional straight line. Look at that. Good job, Earl. Yes. I'm glad I didn't use the sawzall. Nothing was damaged yet. Yet. We let's, still got the other side, though. Let's hope nothing gets damaged at all. Once I'm done cutting all this up, we'll go ahead and actually pull it outside and show you guys the pearliness because it looks amazing. It was like, it was like eh, about there. Man, I'm eyeballing this right now. Why don't you get that piece that was cut off? Behind the scenes of trying to catch all the right angles. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and just leave it like that because if I, if I jump over and try to make that straighter, um, yeah, I don't want to make it all look ridgy. Yeah, but what if it's not uh, cut enough? You're still going to have to cut We're it. We're going to find out in here in a second, but I'm going to leave it like that for all now. Right. Well, I'm getting sparks out. And... Alright, moment of truth. Josh! What? It's like you're trying to shoot me with the sparks. Sorry. Flying right at me. You all right? Yeah. Okay. Let's start it up and let's see what happens. I'm nervous. Okay, here. All right, come back. All right, do it again. All right, right here. We gotta nip this little little thing off right there. We should be good. check the other side. All right, go ahead. Yeah, this side. We got a mile on this side. Other side, not so much. All right, you can turn. You can turn it off. You yeah, you can pull the tape. So if something messes up, it's your fault. Yeah, that's a way straighter line. I don't know. It looks a little silly. No, I mean like it looks like it's. Oh, the line still... straighter. Yeah. It looks a little weird though, because it's sort of like. Jagged. Yeah, it doesn't look bad though. I can clean yeah, it up. Yeah, you can't put your chromies on this side. <laughs> oh, dude, you're right. Yeah, I still gotta line up this bumper a little bit better though, because there's some gaps in here and stuff. But we'll get to that. The hard part's done, it's painted. As you can see, look at that. Look at that faint purplish pink on the paint. You guys can see it, I know you can. It looks so good. I kind of wish we would've went a little heavier. No. No? I like that it's mostly like it looks white and it has that like accent uh, purple that shows up when the sun just hits it just right. I like that. It's so custom, you know. 
I just like it. I don't know. We got that shimmer. I am I'm very simple. Like I don't like too flashy. So I feel like that's just perfect for me. This is why I didn't go with the pinstripe because I felt like I don't think I would have liked it. I'm I'm just too simple. So I like I like that we went with uh, just putting a little bit of pearl in the paint with the purple showing when the sun hits it and that just that's just right for me. Come along here and you can see it. Mm -hmm. It ties really nice in with the bow tie my honey painted. Yes. Good job, honey. Thank you. I'm the best. So it's really hard to pick it up on camera. I know I keep saying that. It's really annoying to say that, but with it being pearl like that, it's it's just how it is, man. You got to see it in person. That's just how it goes. But the fact that the truck is freshly painted and it looks amazing, and I'm personally thinking about running a pinstripe just to see what it looks like. Why are you, you want to run the pinstripe? We can peel it off. It's just for looks. Okay. See? Like, so we're going to run it down. We're going to run it down the side of the truck just to look at it. And if she likes it, we'll leave it on. Just ideas. But wouldn't it be cool to do a Wife Max tailgate? Just like a decaled Wife Max tailgate? Yeah, I like that idea. What we did here, it's kind of cool, check this out. I finally installed a Pioneer system in this thing. And I'm, when I mean system, I just put a 1,000 watt amp in here and a 12. Actually, I think it's a 10. Just a small little kicker. Nothing nuts, you know. Put a little Pioneer amp back here. I'm going to clean all this up too in the back. But for now, it actually sounds really good. Copyright deer. This dashboard is custom made. Uh, it's called East Coast Gauge Repair, if I'm not mistaken. I'll leave a link in the description. But these guys actually rebuilt our dash cluster. It looks really good. Look at that, guys. Isn't that cool? What do you think about it? I love it. It looks good. Now, if we can get this to turn the Purple. same color, that'd be awesome. That would be cool. I don't know if you can, though. I think we can. We'll figure it out because it's like USB. Maybe we can, like, Wi-Fi it and do something cool with the background. But this truck's really coming together. Because I'm actually tearing all this down to nothing because I'm receiving a short block. It's going to be fully built. I mean, forged rods, pistons, everything. Like I was saying, I hope we can hit over a thousand, maybe 1100 horsepower on this truck. But right now, the truck is a mock-up. I'm gonna be removing the cab, the bed. We're gonna take the frame out of this thing and we're gonna get a frame completely sandblasted and powder coated. I'm also gonna be doing, like I know the traction bars are already done, but we're gonna be doing the rear leaf springs. Kodiak truck in Wisconsin is gonna be doing the rear end. And I'm gonna do a full video on it because all this stuff underneath here is crusty and nasty. And we're going to basically strip this truck down to nothing and we're going to rebuild it. But the big news here is the twin turbos that we're going to be installing in this truck. But what I do plan on doing is a dual fueler setup. So I'm going to have two CP3s in this truck. So we have adequate amount of fuel, especially when we hook up to a sled. The truck doesn't go into fuel limp, if you know what I mean. Because right when I get to the end of the track, nose down, I lose all power. It's super weird. So that's why we're putting another turbo in there so we don't lose any air to fuel. Of course we have to dial everything in to make that happen because I was a little discouraged last time we pulled the sled and I mean it was all nice and strong until the very end. Stay tuned for this to go behind the grill. That will really set it off. Plus we're going to do some rock lights under the wheel wells and door lights. We got, we got some door lights that are coming and I really really want to replace which we might wait until we get the frame done and everything switched over, but I really want new headlights that have different colors in it. Oh yeah, you can change the colors. Sweet. Yeah. That's a cool idea. I'm so pumped about this paint job, man. Big shout out to Dan and Joe. Those guys really came in tremendous. I mean, we have a lot of hours in this truck. Yeah. There's some things they were, uh, some things they had to battle. Like what? You didn't have the paint booth. Oh, the bugs. Yeah, the oh, bugs. Man. It was bad. They did their best, but we have, uh, we have some names. <laughs> we have some names for some bugs that are behind the clear coat. You want to you want to see Charlotte? Is that one? Oh, that no, no, no that bug is. Here, I'll, I'll I'll introduce you to Charlotte. Come here. Oh yeah. <laughs> Here's Charlotte. Every time I open my door. It's so tiny. I can't even get it on camera. Oh, there it is. There's Charlotte. And I haven't named all the other ones. Yeah, hey, at least you get to touch Charlotte a, every time. At least you get to touch her every time you open the door. For what it is, man, it, it turned out really good. And I honestly, I didn't pay an arm and a leg to get this done. We had a, I think we had a little under five grand into the paint and the body work and the panels and. Yeah. So uh, I, I actually asked a body guy how much it would cost to do a professional paint job with the pearl and all that. And I think he was around 15 or 16,000. So yeah, for what we did here, it's not too bad. I think we saved a ton of money. Yeah, I'd say.
But that'll wrap up this video today. Thank you guys so much for watching and make sure you stay tuned and let me know what you think in the comments. And I hope once I edit this video that I can really pull out that pearl because again, it's really hard to pick it up. And I personally wish that uh, we would have went a little bit more dramatic with the purple, even though it's your truck. But that's just my opinion. But if you like it, you like it and that's what matters. I like it. So that's what matters. And also, if you guys want to support the channel, I left a link in the description, truckmasterdiesel.com. Pick up a hat, a t-shirt, a key tag, a hoodie, something like that. It really, really helps out, and I ship out very next day. But we'll see you on the next one. Stay tuned. Had a guy here recently that actually had called that uh, was actually camping uh, somewhere in Colorado in the mountains or something like that. And he was traveling back down uh, with his family and he called us and said, hey, I'm having an issue with my transmission, what's going on? What it boiled down to was uh, he was having TCM failure. We ended up going, started working through him, trying to help him out of how we could get him off to at least get him into a safe area because he was on the side of the freeway with his family. We ended up going having him pull his TCM out of the truck and actually stuck it in the freezer for about 20 minutes in the back of his camper. Pulled it back out, stuck it back into the truck and was able to make it to the next off ramp. The truck shifted and everything was good. Eventually, he once he got into town, yeah, it started acting up again, but at least he wasn't, you know, stuck in the second or third gear while on the freeway while trying to travel. Um, so he ended up calling us back, actually got a TCM. We actually next day aired it to him and he literally plugged it in and was able to keep on traveling back with his family. As you can see here, this is actually one of the issues that actually ends up happening. That's kind of what they look like when they fail. There's a red lock right here. You'll slide this lock down and you have two little tabs. You'll push like so. That lever will come forward and it'll pop right off. To put it back on, reverse, roll it down in, slide it down, put the red lock tab back on. This is literally less than five minutes. You could be back on the road running, uh, driving the truck, with no problems. I do normally recommend guys disconnect the batteries simply because a lot of guys don't have an edge insight monitor or uh, easy link in the truck to clear the codes out or even have access to a scan tool. I've had a lot of people literally change these in parking lots before. Um, so I always tell guys drop your batteries that way you don't have to worry about the check engine light on. Your batteries are disconnected. It's only 30 seconds out of your life of changing the cell. Um, this can save you big time going with one of our pre-programmed options versus going to the GM dealer. Uh, the dealer would get about $1,000 to $1,200 was the highest I ever heard. Um, plus, if you're stranded on the side of the road, you're going to have to pay a tow bill. So there's a lot of options that we can go and help you out and save you money on uh, with going this module. We were the first to actually offer a lifetime warranty on these control modules. So you have a failure again, you pick up the phone and call us, ship it back to us, and we'll take care of it.